can you take us through that that play from your perspective? What were you seeing? What were you doing? Well, at first, um, once they made it three, I believe it was a three. I was hoping coach didn't call a timeout. Um, the game was tied, and I was giving him the the hand, like, please just just let us play it. And um, he did. He trusted us. Um, they went on a zone from man to zone quickly. Um, but they seemed to lose Sheldon, and, and I wanted to throw it as soon as I saw him, but um, it, it would have been too early, and they they probably would have had a chance to score um, if he happened to miss. Um, so I waited, and he still was open. I gave it to him, and I, I thought I was in for sure, you know, given the fact that he's such a great shooter. Um, but when I gave it to him, I still went for the rebound because I knew there was only like two seconds left, and um, I know my job is to get back, as Coach says, but there was not, not a whole lot of time, and um, I figured I might as well take the gamble, and it ended up paying off. Was it just instinct at that point? Yeah, um, it, it really was. It, it, I mean, it happened so fast that I just went for it. And then after, I mean, you were like stomping your feet. You were chest what, what were you feeling at that moment? What were you thinking at that moment? Yeah, um, at first, it took me, I mean, in the game, it, it seemed like it was a couple of seconds, uh, but it took me a bit to, like, sink in, like, Wait, did I actually, you know, tip that in? Like, even though I knew I did it, it was just shocking. Um, but once I told myself, yes, you did, celebrate. <laughs> and I just started going crazy. I even even um, forgot I had the ball in my hands holding it. They, you know, um, just a lot going on. Can you guys take us through a little bit of what happened in that locker room? I mean, like Coach said, there, he wasn't happy with the fight you showed earlier. And, and what was it about what he did that got you? He, um, like he said, we, we, he wasn't happy with our energy. He, he wasn't happy with our level. I mean, with our eff effort. And um, we, um, we, we, we spoke about it in the locker room right before Coach said it. We say we got to pick it up. Um, I think for myself at first, I was just trying to get a feel for the refs. I've been in foul trouble lately, so I didn't, I didn't want that to happen today. Um, and in a way, it, it slowed me down. I wasn't being as physical and. Um, I, sh I shouldn't require as much help from from our big guys, and but you know in the locker room, Coach Hell took a ball. And he he was just you, you can tell he he meant it. He he really wanted us to be um, passionate about it. He really wanted us to play with energy, and I think it ended up working because um, it got me going. It got everybody going, screaming, um, and when every when I saw everybody screaming, I, I knew you know we we're gonna come out with a lot of energy. Tanya, what were you thinking uh, when, when Angel's shot went in? Like, where, where were you at that moment? What were you thinking? I mean, I just I just felt like, you know, he really saved us because um, the two free throws I missed, I felt like um, if I had made it because we had a we had a great um, defense, you know, before they, they knocked down the tree to tie the game. We had a great defense, but even while I was rotating, I could see everybody moving, picking up man, and, and it just ended up that, you know, the guy made the show with a hand in his face, and uh, you know it was he, like I, I almost dropped my head and my like I, I almost stopped playing. But you know um, they they picked me up, and you know they said you know there's still time left. And when I looked up, I I really saw that we have enough time. And coach didn't call a timeout, and, and I know we had one more timeout, and he let us to go to play. And I was just like I mean I don't know overtime. I don't want to go to overtime, you know, but. I mean, him tipping the ball in, you know, I just felt like, you know, he just redeemed the whole team. And, you know, we ne we don't want to lose at home. And, um, you know, guys have been saying in the locker room, we can't lose this game. And, you know, it's just an amazing win. Tony played only six minutes the first half. I mean, when you look at I really came out, you know, looking to be aggressive because um, I, I just don't want to come out and, you know, try to, to add, like, you know, I have fouls and I don't want to play tough or hard because um, before we came out from the uh, locker room, you know, we, as Coach Ed did, he did the ball and everything and, you know, that got me pumped up and fired up and the same with other guys and, you know, I just came out trying to play aggressive on both hands and um, not thinking about me having two fouls or anything. 
So, you know, I, I think I'm playing aggressive sometimes, you know, it gives the refs, you know, less chance to call fouls on you because when they see you playing that way, you know, from the start, you know, they, they feel like, okay, that's how he has been playing, you know, he didn't call, they didn't call it down there, so they won't call it up here, so it's just that way. So playing aggressive, you know, every time you just help, help you as a player, not, you know, for, for fouls not to be calling you, you know. But if you want to play once in a while, then the referee is going to, you know, kind of call a foul on you, so. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.